shared surfaces facilitate co-located collaboration. At the same time, mobile phones have become omnipresent devices, where users store large amounts of personal data. This work introduces a novel cross-device interaction style. It fuses interactions with mobiles, multi-touch interaction on surfaces, and mobiles for tangible input. The following clips characterize the interactions that are enabled by this style. Different phones are identified. The system distinguishes phone from finger touches. Phone touches are detected at the same resolution for fine granular selections. Users can touch with different parts of the phone. Rotating the phone enables additional degrees of freedom. For example, to control a slider. Selections on the phone screen can provide additional touch parameters. Finger touches close to a phone touch can be associated. This offers bimanual interactions. The phone enables targeted audio feedback, as well as haptic feedback via the phone's vibration alert. Visual feedback can be provided. The following clips illustrate techniques enabled by this interaction style. Items can be picked up and dropped again on the surface. Items dropped by one user can be picked up by other users. Users can lock their workspace on a surface with phone key. To unlock, the phone is used for instant authorization. Only Bob, the owner of the workspace, succeeds. Phone Pass allows users to pick up password fields ad hoc. The phone enables entering passwords unobserved on the private screen. Phone Palettes move surface menus to the phone where the user can select commands. For example, to create circles. The user applies commands by touching the surface. Commands can also consist of complex settings. For example, fill and stroke color can be applied together. Users can pick up new commands from the surface. Commands then appear on the phone where they can be arranged. Phone facades enable ad hoc interface customization. Phone fill can provide personalized information directly on the surface. For example, users can drop their bookmarks into a browser on the surface. Phone lenses enable personalized views on the surface interface. For example, surface content can be translated individually. The following clips illustrate application examples. They integrate multiple interaction techniques. For example, the word game provides a user with a private display, where the player makes a selection. The selected letters can be placed on the board. When a user drops a letter accidentally, this letter can be picked up easily by touching it. When a user places an invalid word, other players can press the veto button. All users vote with their phone ID, whether the word is allowed. Users can create collages of their photos. Photos are dropped by simply touching the surface. Users can choose options from menus on the phone and apply them to photos on the surface. For example, different frames or filters can be applied in this way. The phone can also provide alternative text input. Personal clipboards enable multiple users to copy and paste items individually. 